Firefighters have been pushed to the limit in the southeast corner of the nation today and they have a long night ahead of them. The sky turned blood red in some areas as fires flared up in Victoria and New South Wales due to hot temperatures and dry conditions. Australia is no stranger to fire. With its savannah-like climate, summers are warm and dry and natural or human ignitions in the presence of flammable biomass often leads to wildfires. The 2019 to 2020 bushfires have been the worst on record. They've destroyed over 2,500 buildings and killed 27 people as of January 11th, 2020. Currently, a massive effort is underway to tackle these fires and to keep people, homes and animals safe. We hope that these fires are quickly subdued with as little further damage as possible. Unlike the Australian government's strategic plan, their ecosystem is normally ready for such blazes. These fires are a natural component of many ecosystems, with many plants and animals leveraging these devastating conditions to help them germinate, nest, or even find food. However, one of the strangest relationships to form in these inhospitable conditions would have to be the Australian black kite. As flames sweep across the savanna, black kites monitor the smouldering brush for their next meal. Pushed by the heat and encroaching wall of flames, small creatures such as grasshoppers and lizards have to flee from their normal hiding spots to try and seek shelter. Unfortunately for them, the heat isn't the only hazard that they have to worry about. High up in the canopies, perched in the trees are groups of black kites waiting patiently to swoop down and grasp the more unfortunate fleeing creatures. What really pushes this relationship into the bizarre side of things is the black kite's tendency to create their own fires. Once the amount of food starts to dry up and the kites think that competition is getting too high, they've been known to carry burning twigs, not much bigger than your finger in their talons, before dropping it in a patch of savanna up to a mile from the original wildfire. This attempt to create new fires often results in an ignition due to the dry, dense flora of the savannah. Proud of themselves, the kites observe this new growing blaze closely, just waiting for the exodus of small, terrified creatures to come into view due to their pyromaniacal behavior. Once the area is burnt out, the kites will then repeat the process elsewhere. This fascinating phenomenon has been well known within Aboriginal groups However, it's only just been recorded scientifically within the last couple of years. This behavior just adds to the evidence that these Australian raptors are extraordinarily good at generating innovative solutions to their foraging problems. Up until now, humans, lightning, and wind-blown embers had been regarded as the only vectors of fire in Australia. But here we are, now with yet another fire-causing factor that we need to keep an eye on. Thank you for watching this short video about the biological side of the ongoing Australian fires. Whilst we're a small channel and in turn don't make much money from our ads, we still plan to donate all of this video's earnings to South Australia's Country Fire Service. We've left a link in the description. If you have any spare change, please consider donating what you can.